Almighty and everlasting God, who in Christ has revealed thy glory among the nations, preserve the works of thy mercy, that thy church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of thy name, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading is from Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord who is anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue na nations before him. And I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut and sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayst know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, and the God of Israel. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down the heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. I have made the earth, and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their host have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives, not for price nor reward, saith the Lord of hosts. Our Psalter reading is from Psalm 96. O sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among the, all people. For the Lord is great, and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, and give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The word, world also shall be established and it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness, and the people with his truth. Our epistle this morning is from 1 Thessalonians. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus, unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father 
in the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren beloved, your election of God. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake, and you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost, so that you were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God were to spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Our Gospel reading is from Matthew. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in this talk. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest the way of God and truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou re regardest not the person of men. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar, or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness, and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And he saith unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? They say unto him, Caesar's. And saith unto him, he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. This concludes the reading for this morning. Jesus freak out.